Yes. All right, coming up, hoping the new year brings you, um, you know, a new popular resolution to get fit and lose weight. We got an answer. This is every January 1st by the 4th. <laughs> I'm starting to waver. We are talking with Dr. Andres Acosta. He's from the Mayo Clinic. He's got advice on a new diet as well as the skyrocketing use of weight loss drugs like Ozempic. Mm. Good day, New York. Coming right back. Right now, there's a skyrocketing number of people opting to use weight loss drugs like Ozempic. But is that the right decision? Joining hmm. us right now with more information, Dr. Andres Acosta. He's the medical advisor and obesity expert for the Mayo Clinic Diet. Nice to have you on Good Day New York. Thanks so much, Rosanna and Bianca, for having me. Doctor, what is the Mayo Diet? Yeah, well, first of all, Happy New Year to Happy you New and Year. all the Americans who are watching the show and who have weight loss as New Year's resolution. I think that's wonderful. The Mayo Clinic diet is a very healthy diet that adapts to you and your choices. We have options such as Mediterranean diet or whatever you want to choose in a healthy way. So it adapts to you, but brings you all those lifestyle changes that you need in two phases, a lucid phase and then a maintenance phase, which is very important because many of us lose weight very quickly and then regain all back with all sorts of tools. So with the Mayo Clinic diet, we help our patients and we've been helping them for decades in sustain get lo weight loss with scientific evidence that is proven to help. So are you now including in this Mayo diet um, Ozempic, those semi-glutide injections? Absolutely. So, so that's in conjunction with your diet now? Correct. So now, so we've been using the Mayo Clinic diet for decades with all sorts of problems. And now we have a new tool the new medications that we all been talking in the news. But what we realize is that there's a lot of noise out there. There's a lot of things that are controversial that we don't know. So we want to create some reliable resources for patients to go to the mayoclinicdiet.com and good look for things that are clear with the right evidence, with the right guidance for patients. And for that reason, we created something we've been using on the clinic, the Mayo Clinic Diet Companion Program. So it helps you get on these medications and guide you on the good things and the bad things that we can see with these medications. So we've been using these medications like Ozempic for people with diabetes, uh, severe obesity for many, many years. Yeah. Why are you just adding it to this program now when you've been trying to help people lose weight for many, many years as well? You know, we thought that this was part of common routine practice with physicians. But the reality is that these medications were initially only used by a few obesity experts. But now we see that all the physicians and many patients, more than 100 million people in the United States are suffering from obesity, wants to start these medications. And we realize that these physicians and doctors who are prescribing them, or a lot of patients who are getting them from other sources, don't have the tools mm -hmm. to support and going through these medications. When you, when you talk about those tools, is that why mm -hmm. you're seeing so many people have stomach issues because they're not dosing themselves properly or what's the reason there? Absolutely. So these medications come with some side effects, particularly GI side effects, nausea, yeah. vomiting, diarrhea, constipation. So what we have done is we took all the information we know that we've been using in the clinic and we put it together in this companion program in order for them to have the resources, right? So what to do if I'm feeling nauseated? So instead of waiting for you to feel very sick, mm. just have these tools available for you to go through the journey when you're having side effects, but also experience the journey and get the maximum benefits with lifestyle changes when you're doing great. So I was reading an article in the New York Times yesterday and they said the minute you go off these semi-glutides, you're gaining all the weight back. And it happens pretty fast. Is that what you're finding? So we know from the studies that if you don't commit to lifestyle changes and you just think this is a magic injection that is going to get all the weight off, as soon as you stop, the weight is starting to creep back in. So that's why it's important to commit with these programs, like the one we have created, multidisciplinary programs with diet and lifestyle changes, that you can actually start keeping the weight off. But it's also important to know that uh, if this is getting from your doctor, if you start gaining the weight back, you need to go back to your prescriber mm -hmm. and saying, why I'm gaining the weight back, what should I do? Because I went off Ozempic. <laughs> right. So, I mean, how do you wean yourself off these, yeah. these diet drugs without gaining, you know, all that weight back? It's important to make lifestyle changes. So we come back to diet, exercise, mm -hmm. physical activity, being healthy. If you're taking the medication, talk with your doctor, and we need to study how we take them off successful in the long term. So I know that there's some issues with the FDA about hair loss, suicidal thoughts. Have you guys kind of gone over that and made sure that people are being safe with this? Yeah, so 
these medications have been for very rigorous studies by, uh, that were approved by the FDA. Ten thousands of people or more have been on these studies, and we've seen that when we compare these medications to placebo, there's no such effects. So now when we see these new side effects that are being reported when yeah. people are using it in the real world, we need to try to separate what is a side effect from weight loss and what is a side effect uh, from the medication. Got you. So a lot of us who lose a lot of weight, we've seen this with bariatric surgery, also tend to lose weight. Mm -hmm. So what I recommend my patients, and we have put this in our programs, is take a multivitamin. Maybe you're not getting enough vitamins and that's why you're losing weight. Uh, you're losing hair, sorry. Uh, so it's important to really consider a multidisciplinary program and a supervised program to avoid these side effects. Well, I know the Mayo diet does work. So I know my, we, t we learned about it last year. My mom went on it and it's helped her a lot. But, you know, in conjunction with the semi-glutides, I can imagine it makes but it even better. Can you get the semi-glutides uh, any better this year than last year? Because uh, everybody, at least in New York City, was taking it and you couldn't find it. Yeah. Yeah, that has been a common problem, uh, that the demand is so high that uh, the companies who produce it, Novo Nordics, have been having sh problems with shortage. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully that's solved for this year. Okay, before you go, should I do it? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think you need it, but uh, <laughs> this is not for five or well, ten pounds. It's <laughs> what not five that? or ten? No. What, what's, the, what's, the, what's it wait for? So, fifteen, twenty? Well, I can get to fifteen next weekend. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's for people who are struggling with obesity, who have obesity-related comorbidities, uh -huh. and who want to lose weight and keep, stay healthy. Thank you again, <laughs> Dr. Acosta. How can people find you? Well, they can come and see us on the website, Mayo Clinic. Uh, dot, uh, diet dot com or as well in the Beautiful. All right, straight Thank from the you. doctor's Thank mouth. You heard him. There you go. You heard him. I heard him. Did you hear him? But he said 10, 5, 10 pounds. 15 could be next weekend. Mike, you know how I love to yeah, enjoy yeah. myself on the weekends. Oh, well, you don't we all, but it also sounds like do the work.